of gospels there's the gospel about Jesus which I preach in Africa in stadiums which Rainhead Bonke preaches which Billy Graham preached for years the gospel about Jesus that is to introduce Jesus to people then there is the gospel of Jesus that which he preached Can I just take my time here? That which he preached. I'm so sorry to say that some of the prosperity jargons we hear, he didn't preach them. He didn't manipulate anybody. He preached the kingdom and miracles happened because he preached the kingdom I was in China the other day and and I was on a business trip and the guy that was driving me around the CEO of one of the companies I said do you know Jesus he said yeah we've had some stories that he was so naive that one of his disciples just corned him and killed him that's all he knows about this man I said, do you know that he is a savior? Savior, I know he's one of the historical guys, just like Muhammad is historical and others. But he was not wise like Muhammad. He was corned by a group of 12 people and one of them killed him. That's what he told me. Now when people have that kind of mind, it means they have not received the gospel about, leave alone the gospel of Jesus. Somebody shout shift. (laughs) I'm getting close to it now. God never, I was preaching Bishop and Pastor Cheryl the other last year when God began to do, I was preaching for somebody five days. I preached my lungs out. On the fifth day, when I was coming to his office, he said, hey, preacher man, you did well. And I got offended. I flew back to my city Offended, grieved, frustrated. Why was I grieved? Because something within me did not want just to be reduced to a preacher man. Are we together? I didn't want preacher man. I mean, I gave my life to God to be a preacher man. And I when I lay down on the floor, I told my wife, I'm, I, don't, I don't, don't want to talk to anybody. And I began to cry the whole night. The next day I was crying. And then God says to me, I made him say that. Because when people tell you you're a good preacher, it kind of makes you feel good. So you have become their preacher man. I say, Lord, what's next? Say, I want you to learn my kingdom. (laughs) So you become a deliverer of the kingdom, not a preacher man. Now went to scripture, Jesus says to the 12, I need you to go and preach. Somebody shout preach. Preach. And tell them that the kingdom of God is at hand. And when you finish, cleanse the lepers. Raise the dead. Heal the sick. So you're not just preaching. And from that day, I've seen cancers. I've seen tumors melt before me. I've seen people leave wheelchairs because I just decided that I need that dimension that Adam had. That the second Adam came to restore. So I don't just become an on person, but I should be able to have some in within me that people begin to see 
Oh, I'm, I'm going to preach in a short while. When you understand the kingdom of God, it becomes atmospheric. You begin to carry the presence of God. God never intended for us to have debate and dialogues with the demons. He said, hey, shalom, shalom. Hey, come on, come on. Say, so hold on a minute. How many of you are in here? The wheel seven. Come on, come on. When did you come in? July 12, 1999. Come on. When are you leaving? No, we're not leaving. We like this place. Come on. Where did you come from? We came from the grandmama. <laughs> now the Bible says he does not speak one truth. So in everything he said there was no truth. But when Jesus came with the kingdom of God. They said what do you want from us? They screamed before he arrived. That's why Jesus had to come in the flesh. To redeem us in the flesh. Because there is no way he could bring back the kingdom on. Unless he was on the earth. Now I'm ready to get down there. Now hold on a minute. <laughs> Then the Bible says that the government shall be upon his shoulder. That's why whenever he walked around, demons screamed because he carried the government of God or the kingdom of God on the face of the earth. I shall not be broke another day. I'm not dying of cancer. I'm not dying of high blood pressure. I'm not dying of sugar diabetes. I will not be a beggar and a borrower. If the kingdom of God is real, I want the kingdom and I want it now. Somebody say yes. Say yes. Say yes. I want the kingdom and I want it now. And the Bible says that from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violent take it by force. So I need my money and I need it by force. Somebody say yes. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. Shift and shift now. Say shift. I left all my scriptures and notes. I'm going to try to close this right now. If I don't get to the text, I will have given you a long journey that doesn't have a culmination to it. But I am in a place where I don't want the ordinary. I'm tired of paying houses for 20 years. I'm tired of paying cars for five years. I'm tired of losing my marriage and losing my job and losing my mind. I'm tired of living on pills and living on drugs. If the kingdom is mine, I need the kingdom and I need it now. I feel like preaching already. But I'm not even there yet. The Bible says the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That means Adam never had depression. Adam never needed counseling. Adam was on no pill because he had the kingdom of God. In fact, the rivers had gold and good gold. When Adam fetched water, he had to throw back the gold and drink the water that's why I don't want to be broke another day somebody say yes help me get there the problem is that the church has become religious all over the world 
we like systems we like procedures we like traditions but we don't like the power of God and in case we see it we abuse it and we try to use it but the Bible says that the kingdom of God is not in word but in When you understand the kingdom of God, you don't need somebody else to pray for you, for you to get a miracle. I'm going to explain some things before I preach. God never intended even one day that one man should stand in a stadium with a half a million people and perform the miracles as the people are clapping as if they are in a baseball field but the Bible says these signs and wonders shall follow them that believe touch your neighbor say neighbor tonight you've got to shift say neighbor tonight you're moving from the ordinary to the extraordinary say neighbor tonight you're moving from the natural to the supernatural say neighbor tonight you are moving from depression to joy Generation